These are the top robot vacuums of CES 2026. I'm gonna start off with my favorite one called the X-Lean. All right, I'm here with at the X-Lean booth. I got Pei Young yeah, with me. And nice to meet you, Mike. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and he's gonna take me through all the stuff these guys are doing. And yeah. I'm pretty excited because this is a awesome vacuum. You guys aren't launched yet. March on Kickstarter. If you like this, you can pick one up there. So this is called the X-Lean TR1. Okay, now what makes this different is that, you know, it's just a handheld vacuum, right? But show us how you can take this handle off. And that's it. It's gonna automatically come on as you kicks on. You can't really hear it because it's loud in here, but here we go. You got some sprinkles and coffee. Outstanding, wow, that's crazy. I put the handle back up, shuts off automatically. That is slick. And that thing, a lot of these with the roller mops, they tend to pull or push, and that actually doesn't. Obviously, this is the inner workings of the robot vacuum. So it pulls the water, right? It comes down here, it yeah. heats it up. That's where it turns red yeah. internally. Heats it up to 75 degrees. Yeah. And then we do the refill drain the robot. Oh, so this is the cleanup process. So it's gonna empty the dust container into the holding container up here. Yeah. And then it dries the mop head. That way you don't get that nasty mildewy smell. How long is it gonna take to dry that mop head? For one hour. One hour. Oh, so if you, you can connect this unit to your house, yes. to a drain, into a water line, yeah. and that way you never have to fill up the tank yourself. It can just pulls the water when it needs it, pushes it out in the drain. Yeah. Yeah. So we demonstrated the manual, like holding the stick, and so yeah. now this is just the straight up robot. Let's get dirty, huh? Wow, and that just comes right out of there super fast. Yeah. I like that. Got LiDAR technology, so right now it's gonna it's scanning the area to find out where the stain's at. Yeah, and uh, in the front we have an RGB camera. It knows the dirty. Oh really? So you have AI, you have LiDAR, you have a camera, yeah. everything in there. The mess was right here. It came out, took a couple seconds to figure out where it was at, cleaned it. There's a whole area back over there that it didn't even touch. Right? And that tells you that the AI was kicking on to actually detect where the mess was at. Clean the mess, bam. At the Mova booth, we got two concept products here. So let's check this one out over here. This is pretty cool. So the first one you're gonna look at is the drone. I'm guessing what you're pointing at. So that's the Pilot 70 uh, drone concept. So it's basically a delivery module, which allows um, Mova to produce something that will pick up a vacuum cleaner, one of our robotic vacuums, and carry it to hard to reach places, places like sun decks, balconies, rooftops, um, places where you may not have an easy staircase or a multi-level home where multiple stair climbing robots may not be possible. If I had a, uh, any of your robots, would that drone retrofit any of them, or is it just specific to one drone? Or so right one now, as, yeah, as a concept unit, it's just built for the specific one that's in there, but the idea being that we could produce it in a way that it fits for multiple products, or it's aligned to a new product system that comes out in the future. Okay. Is this CGI, or is that real stuff right there? I believe that's real stuff that they film. Like, wow. I just don't have the full detail, like, background on it. <laughs> All right, tell me about this uh, one over here, then. That's, yeah. that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, this is another concept. This is our store, uh, I'm sorry, store, <laughs> stair climbing concept. So similarly, it serves as kind of a module unit. So the idea being that that vacuum, circular vacuum that you see, and there's one of our robot vacuums would actually drive into this. That back aluminum part you see kind of folds down like a ramp, goes in, locks into place, and then the stair unit actually climbs to where it needs to, up to 9.84 um, inches, and then drops it off and kind of opens up, much like a docking station, and then lets the vacuum go on its floor, clean up, and then it can come back, load back into the Zoo 60 dock, and then go back down. Then you got all your regular vacuums here, and yeah, just exactly. like your standard features. Yeah, standard features, you've got rollers, you know, which some people prefer. The Mobius 60 is kind of our newest product. That features interchangeable mop heads. So what the robot will actually do using an AI camera is sense what type of floor is this? So am I using an everyday mop? Is it sensitive flooring like wood or marble? Or is it heavy duty like kitchen grease on the floor? And so it'll actually go back to its base station that you see here, what? switch the mop heads what? that are appropriate, and oh. then go finish its job. No way. And it's then like of a... course when it drops the mop heads off, inside is a cleaning system for the mop heads and a drying system to make sure that they're nice and ready for your next clean. I made it to Eureka, and I think these guys are on vacation because there is not a dang soul except for me and this guy right there to check out these vacuums. So let's see if uh, we can learn some stuff. All right, the Eureka Z50. You got a bunch of buttons we can play with, mop out, 
All right, that's extends the mop. Seen that. Roller on. This is the mop roller vacuum. Main brush on. Okay. Seen this design before. It's split in the middle. So it funnels the hair to the middle and it sucks the hair up. I like it. As a side brush. What's the cover close? Oh, check that out. There's a cover that came over the mop fully and closes the mop head, so that's not gonna drag against your carpet. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, this is a little tiny guy. Look at that. That's gotta be the smallest robot vacuum I've seen. And that's pretty much all I can tell you about Eureka because uh, nobody came to talk to me. Okay, Roborock booth, these are the highest rated vacuums on Amazon, right? That's what I've been told. Okay, so you got three vacuums here, three models, upside down, mounted to the wall. I, lo I love this display, by the way. Tell me about this one. So, like, this is, th this has three different types of mop currently in the market, the three top popular ones. So, here we can see, firstly, this is the dual spinning one. So let me choose one more, like edge cleaning. For the edge cleaning part, the spinning one, one will also extend, also the side brush will like uh, working to do the edge cleaning part. So this one is the most popular type of mod uh, currently in the market. So if you do not have any like preference, something, you just choose this one. The one, the middle one is our like latest upgrade uh, vibrating flag mop. So the biggest upgrade point of this one is it, now it can extend right now. Also, it can like achieve 100% edge cleaning success. Yeah. 100% cleaning success? Yeah, along, along the edge right now. Because does this arm extend out more or what? What, what makes it 100% uh, cleaning success? Because like in the last generation, this one cannot be extend. So it will have some gap, you know, it have some gap when you are doing the edge cleaning. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So now you're fully covered with this and it's kind of hard to tell, but when you do this, this is vibrating. Yeah. So, yeah, look at that. It also uh, feature like up to 14 Newton, the downward pressure right now. Also it puts pressure on it too. Yeah. So yeah. make sure you do your research to find out what floor you have before you decide which mop you want because certain mops, mop better. On to the third one. So this is like the new chain in the market right now. So this is our real-time self-cleaning roller. So the biggest point of this kind of roller is it has the water, uh, sorry, dirty water tank inside the vacuum body. So uh, the roller can do the self-cleaning while the roller do the mopping on the floor. Oh, it cleans and self-cleans at the same time. Yes. Oh, that's cool. And then, oh, you got two brushes, two sweepers, and the main one as well. You also have the same split design for the anti-hair. All these have that same split design. And then does this auto dry too? When you finish the finish the mopping task, back to the door, you will also do the auto dry. Okay, oh yeah, so when it goes in dogs, it's gonna auto dry yeah. and clean itself. But the first one that I've heard of, where it actually cleans as you're mopping. So, that's awesome. It's got a robot arm that comes out the top and it's gonna grab this sock. Go grab it, put it away. <laughs> That's the funniest thing ever, <laughs> these little pinchers. That's pretty cool. Now, where does it take it is the question. Oh, there's a bin right over there. Grabs it. Put it in the dirty clothes. Sweet. I check out all these. So all the models from Robo Rock. Robo Rock is rocking it, aren't they, Matthew? All right, this is the vacuum that I want because this thing can climb your stairs. As it gets to each stair, this leg comes down, stabilizes it, and it will vacuum your stairs as it goes up which is insane. We're at the Narwhal booth. I've got Didi. He's gonna run through the top launches of 2026. Yes. Let's go. So this is the 2026, fla 2026 flagship. This is Narwhal Flow 2. I'm it's gonna stop you right there and just say that that is like the prettiest robot vacuum. Oh, really? Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. I mean, that, this I mean looks that. luxury. First of all, let's talk about the robot vacuum. So for the robot vacuum, actually compared with its last generation, the Narwhal Flow, the biggest upgrade will be the AI system. 
So for novel flow, it's already got a kind of like AI chips inside it to make it to do obstacle avoidance or cleaning strategy selections. What if there's a burglar in my home? Will it recognize that it's trying to steal my stuff and send me a notification? I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> it will detect and recognize your pet. So it may see something that is related to it. For example, a pet bowl or a pet toys, kind of like that. And it will start to think, okay, maybe this is an area that I need to clean for the most important one. It's gonna take these little stairs. Oh, boost up. That like hauls up that pretty quick. That's cool. All right, baby care mode. What is baby care mode? Yeah, so once it kind of like, you know, detect and recognize there's a crib here, it would just feel like, okay, I need to lower my voice. So it would just turn on a quiet mode to not waking up your baby. Yeah, that's a special thing. That's, that is a special thing. And once it recognize everything, it would just like mark it in your phone map. So this is our upgraded map system. So you can tell wow. like it's not a 2D one, it's a 3D one with colors. Here, let's see how they clean, how they work together to clean the corners. So this is the tangle free system. So this and this can combine together to make sure that there will be no tangles there. There we go. Nice, it wants to go. This one will be the clean water tank. And okay, this that one goes tank. out, nice. Puff model. Oh, okay. So this is the mattress vacuum cleaner. So basically this will tap for 60,000 per minute, 60,000 times per minute, sorry. And you can see by this. It can just get all the mites and dust out, like while it's doing the tapping. First of all, you turn it on, it will be on an AI mode. So the AI mode means that you it could detect whether it's dirty or not. If oh. it's dirty, it will clean in a heavier way. If it's not, it will just not, it will just do it less. Oh. You can see the heating board is actually working even within a few seconds, right? Wow, Yeah. <laughs> that's insane. And these things are our latest cordless vacuum. Actually, this one and this one, we got two things here. So yeah, this is, I think this is the coolest one and it's definitely the most suitable one for my apartment. So first of all, it's super light to use. Oh. It's only weighed for like <laughs> 3.1 pounds. Yeah, and it got a great suction power. It's like 210 AW. You can actually try it yourself. Oh, and it is also extendable. Oh, you can extend it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, this is by far the smallest. Yeah, this is the smallest one I've seen. I wanna get a view of this. Nom, nom. Oh. You can see it boosts up because it detects that it's dirty. Yes. Wow. Cool. So first of all, let's put this back. You just pop that on in there. Yeah, Ooh, so like you can see there setup. is a light ring to show the status. And also, like, if you are like doing the cleaning and the battery is just running out, there we will have a detachable, replaceable battery here. So you can directly replace it here and get the original one back for charging. How long the battery is lasting on this? So 45 minutes per battery, how yeah. long for a charge? Uh, four hours. Four hours. Four hours. But you got two batteries, yeah. so that's that's a lot of vacuuming. Yeah. Cool, well I appreciate the rundown, man. Thank you so much. That's awesome, yeah, okay.